Hey, Mom. What do you see? What do you see? I see. I, I see. I see. Grasses are an important food for many animals. They begin to grow under the ground. I found a dragon. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to I Make Kids, Kids Fun. Plants and flowers begin to grow in spring. People enjoy the bright and beautiful colors. That's why I have this flower on my head. Let's go take a walk. Yeah, let's pick up some beautiful flowers. What do you see? I see, I, I see, I see a huge magnolia tree. Magnolias are known for their large flowers. People plant magnolias in parks and gardens. Magnolias vary greatly in size based on the species. The flowers of a magnolia tree come in a few different colors like white, pink, purple, green, and yellow. The flowers of a magnolia tree are known for their wonderful scents. Hey, Mom. What do you see? What do you see? Flowers did not always exist. They first appeared about 140 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. Before that, fern and cone-bearing trees dominated the earth. A flower is the part of a plant that blossoms. Flowers produce the seeds that can become new plants. Most plants, including many trees, grow some kind of flower. What do you think these flowers are, guys? They are daffodils. Daffodils are one of the most welcoming signs of spring. Following the wintry months of gray skies and rain, daffodils bring bright color to every garden and park. Have you noticed daffodils? grow in the same place every year. Daffodils are perennial, so they come back year after year. It is kind of magical to see them come back every year. Daffodils grow in a way that are different than some other plants. Daffodils, tulips, and lilies are perennial flowers that begin as bulbs. Let's look closely at bulbs. Bulbs look like onions. Most grow in spring. Bulbs are dormant, which means they sleep for most of the year. But when the soil temperature is right, they begin to grow under the ground. Roots grow first, reaching down into the soil, and then a green shoot starts to poke through the top of the bulb. It gets bigger and leaves start to show. A flower stem grows. The bud at the end of the stem is closed tight. As the weather gets warmer, the bud opens and the flower can be seen. What do I see? I see yellow. What do wind, water, humans, and animals have in common? We all move. Let's get moving. What do you see? What do you see? Oh, I see, I see, I see some green grass in the tree. There is something magical about crisp green grass of spring. But what is grass? Grass is a type of plant. Many grasses are short, but some grasses like bamboo can grow very tall. Plants from the grass family can grow in many places, even if they are very cold or very dry. Grasses are an important food for many animals. Unlike other plants, grasses grow from the bottom, so when animals eat grass, they usually don't destroy the part that grows. Without grass, dirt can wash away into rivers. Let's enjoy the wonderful things spring brings. What do you see? I see, I see. What do I see? 
a fountain dancing between some trees. I guess we're not the only ones moving in spring. Let's see the fountain dancing and moving around. I found a dragon! I got my whole hand away. <laughs> what do you see? I see, I see, I see some purple. These are hyacinths. Hyacinths bloom in spring, filling the garden with a burst of colors when most of the garden is just waking up. They are called nature's perfume because of their fragrance. They come in a rainbow of colors and are perennial flowers that grow from bulbs. What do you see, what do you see? I see a pink blossoming tree. I see another purple tree. I see, I see red berries on a tree. I see, I see, I see a moose and some deer. I see, I see, I see a monkey tree. What do you see? What do you see? Another monkey tree. And I can see the top. I see, I see, I see a, a golden, golden froggy. froggy. Hey, please. Yeah, hold it, froggy. I love froggies. What flowers did you see on our adventures? Could you identify them all? Thanks for watching and learning about spring flowers with us. Bye. Bye.